update and this is my update video. It's going to be about my life and the obvious thing is that I've changed my hair. So I'll talk about that shortly but I kind of miss just stepping behind the camera and just talking to you guys about stuff. My last video I mean was an advice video and I think the one before that was on my travels. So I'll let you know what I've been up to for the past couple of months and I will start with my hair which is the most obvious thing. So. Let's get started with that. Basically, this is my big, bodacious, curly hair. I love it. I've always loved big hair. You guys know this if you've been following me for a while. And it's been a while since I've had this sort of texture. I think the last time I had this kinky, curly look was when I was at uni. And I loved it then because Beyonce had a similar style. You know, we all love Beyonce's hair. And hers was an ombre version. But at that point, I wasn't really into colour. So I didn't really explore that. And I will insert a picture of that look there. I think, yeah, there. I, I never know where to put my hand for these things, but it'll be somewhere there. So, when my friend contacted me, she's just started a hair extensions company, and I had no idea, because I was following her on Instagram, and I was like, oh, her hair looks amazing. And then, surprisingly, she sent me an email, and she says, oh, she started a new company with her friend, where they're more into natural hair extensions, so kind of like the natural look, not silky, not like extremely long because that's unnatural unless you just grow really long hair anyways i digress but she contacted me and said um, she'd like for me to try out her hair extensions and i was like yes because i've loved it ever since i saw it on instagram sent it over and i installed it last week so this is on a wig cap it's not sewn into my hair and you can see my hair texture is actually kinkier than this than these curls but I'll show you more of an in-depth look at the hair on my hair channel and I'll also let you know the kind of products that I use to keep it curly so far I'm loving it okay so moving on from the hair even though I keep touching it swiftly on from the hair if you want to know more about the hair just go to my hair channel I'll put a link somewhere here and yeah the next thing is about my travels so if you've been following my blog or even seen my last couple of videos they were on my travels to Thailand and I will say that that's one of the best trips that I've had so far because it was to a completely new destination, a continent that I've really never visited, but well, I've never visited Asia, so I was really excited. It was my birthday and I thought I'd treat myself because Thailand is only about six hours from Dubai, so our flight out there was six hours and I think our flight back was six and a half to seven probably something to do with the wind I, I know I don't understand that if you know how that works just let me know we went to Bangkok and we went to Pattaya which is an island close to Thailand we <laughs> it's an island close to Bangkok so I really really wanted to go island hopping to go to Phuket Koh Phi Phi which I think is where the beach movie was filmed, you know, the one with Leonardo DiCaprio. But unfortunately, everybody else in Dubai seemed to be going to Thailand for that particular week because we had Eid off and Eid kind of lasted the whole week. So if you're having four days off work plus a weekend, really you try to travel, go somewhere else. Loads of people went home, but it seems as though everybody was going to Thailand flights were stupidly expensive and I just didn't think it was worth it to spend that much money on just a week. Thailand really you want to spend at least two weeks so you can go to the north and the south, you can island hop and you can get a lot for your money. But we kind of did the same thing because we kind of did a tour with a tour company for about four days and we spent two days in Bangkok and two days in Pattaya. So I've been posting all my pictures on my blog and I also have a vlog as well. Going on from that, I will put some more vlogs up, but it has been incredibly busy since I've come back from my holidays. So obviously I work during the day and I don't have set hours. I don't start at nine and finish at five. I finish whenever my work is done, which I don't mind because when you're on a deal and you know that X, Y, Z needs to be done before a certain date, you just go as hard as you can and make sure everything is done. So I've just been so busy and I haven't really had time to edit videos. I'm really sorry, but like I said, my Thailand vlogs are up. On that similar note, I was going to say something, but I've completely forgotten. 
yeah so and also because this is a new city for me and I'm here with quite a few people that I've met since I joined we're always doing something so every weekend it's like you're going nuts somewhere uh, if you follow me on Instagram Instagram is the best place to get all my life updates because think things take a couple of days to reach my blog but whenever I'm somewhere I'm like do you have Wi-Fi you have Wi-Fi also Instagram <laughs> So over the past month we have had, we've been to Sandance twice, Sandance is like a music festival here in Dubai and it's amazing because it's the closest thing to a real festival that you're going to get out here in the Middle East. So we had the Killers come and perform, the last time it was, who was playing, Jamiroquai which is really bizarre because it kind of transported me to early 2000s, 1990s. I was too young to kind of appreciate his music but it's funny because when he was playing or when he was on stage you could kind of yeah, I remembered all these songs that I think like, my parents used to listen to or like older cousins and stuff used to listen to so that was a lot of fun but then also it was rudimental and rudimental was sick I just lost my mind I was like yes so that was a lot of fun and then also I travelled again, I went to Oman and okay so I said Thailand was the best trip I've had so far because it was a new place. Oman is the most beautiful country I've been to so far in all my travels. It's like mountains everywhere and then we got to swim with dolphins, it was crazy. Well we didn't swim with dolphins, I'll clarify. We got to see dolphins and I'll post a video shortly showing you about the whole Oman experience. But then we got to snorkel as well and for me that was a really big deal because I can't really swim. It's embarrassing to reveal on camera but I can't really swim. <laughs> I would explain why. When I was a kid, and you know in primary school, you go for swimming lessons and they tell you to flap your feet really quickly like that. Because I used to get cramps, I could never make it through a session, like my feet would always cramp like that and it was always painful so I just never really learned how to swim. When I was at university, I learned how to swim a little bit, I took some swimming lessons but then I had exams and I got busy and it just never really went. So I can kind of wade along, you know, very short distances, you know the pool is rectangular that way I can swim from here to there but I can never make it to the end so when we went snorkeling all my friends everyone could swim we took like a massive boat and we took it where I think the sea is not as wild so it's very calm out there and it's perfect for snorkeling everyone on the boat could snorkel it was just beautiful I'll, I'll insert some pictures so you can see what I'm talking about we got there mm, Adele's the only one left on the boat because Adele cannot swim but then I just thought my friends were like look just come on and we'll teach you I was like okay how bad could it be I got my flippers on I had the life jacket <laughs> the guy on the boat was cracking up so the driver that he had, we had was cracking up I think he couldn't believe that I couldn't really swim anyway I decided to hop in the water let me tell you my life flashed before my eyes kind of like this I was like okay this is the end because the water was so deep the sea was so deep I was so far away from I could it's crazy the, the water was so clear that I could see the bottom but I could see how far from the bottom that I was there was a random guy next to me we just met him on the, on the day he was also on our on our little boat thing i literally went and i straddled him like this i was like i'm so sorry you have to teach me you have to save me i need to go back on the boat the guy on the boat was cracking up the driver so he threw me a ring can you believe that i was there in my life jacket hanging on to the ring and just refusing to move. My friends had to pry me off and luckily like they told me this is how you use the snorkel thing, told me how to taught me how to what is it? When you're floating on the water, when you they taught me how to tread water, which is really cool so I could just stay and it's almost like you're cycling in the water and it helps you stay in one spot. And then I also got the confidence to just swim a little bit further out and it was incredible because we had our little things on and we could see into the water we saw loads of different types of fish and this was really different from my Thailand experience where someone just pulled you to the bottom of the seabed and you stood but then you had a helmet 
but you weren't really swimming. This one, we were swimming everywhere. I'll put a video up, it was crazy. So that was Oman, I'm going to put the pictures up on my blog. I haven't gotten around to it, but this weekend is a long weekend in Dubai and this is all I'm going to do, just updating my blog and posting some more videos. So let me know if you've enjoyed this video. Obviously follow my blog and Instagram is where you get all my live updates because things reach my blog about a week or two weeks later. So yeah, that's it. I will resolve to try and post some more videos, but I hope you enjoy this. Next video I'm going to film right now is going to be for my hair channel and I'll talk about how I've just been refreshing my curls and how I keep it all looking good. I hope you've enjoyed this video, please thumbs up if you have and just let me know what's up with you guys. I speak to a couple of you on Facebook so holler at me there if you want or just holler at me wherever you want. Bye! <laughs>